guys are known to be super skittish. Hey Turtle Nerds, welcome back to another video. So in today's video, we're tackling something really fun. I kind of have a confession to make about the pond, and I have some things that I need to get done now. Also, we're gonna check up on how those two baby spotted turtles are doing, and I think that I have to clean the enclosure of Jelly and Otis. So now before we get started with today's video, hit the button in the bottom right hand corner and make sure to subscribe and hit the bell notification thingy. I'm wearing this really old shirt from the Turtle Survival Alliance. It says, I pitched in at the Turtle Survival Alliance. I don't know, they had some like baseball themed thing. Anyway, the point is it's funny, but if you want a not funny shirt and a cool shirt, hit the link right up over here, head over to my Teespring. I have a couple fun little turtle nerd designed shirts. Let's everyone know that you're a turtle nerd and I can recognize you in the wild. If you want to go a step further to help support my dream and the big dreams and goals that I have, hit the link right up over here, head over to my Patreon. You also get exclusive access to content, videos a day early, phone calls with me, all your questions answered, all kinds of fun stuff over there. So with all that stuff out of the way, let's Let's go, let's go look at the pond. Because if you can hear it right now, it's not running. Get our slippers on. This pond is not running right now. Okay, so what exactly is going on with the pond? Let's chat about it. Do you guys remember in one of my videos, I basically said my pond is leaking, I need to fix it. And then I did a bunch of stuff and I thought that I fixed it. I didn't. And I just never brought it up again because I couldn't find the source of the leak and it was driving me nuts. However, when I went to replace the skimmer in the skimmer replacement video, it turns out that I had a check valve, which basically stops water from coming back into the pump. That check valve wasn't working, like water was still coming back and it was really annoying me. It was busted. It was like totally busted. The pressure was way too much from all the water in the bog coming back. It totally busted it open and that's where my leak was. So when I replaced the skimmer, my leak was gone. I was like so thankful and so happy. I mean, it was just, it was awesome. It was awesome. I repeat things for emphasis. <laughs> Emphasis. But then I decided to make the mini pond, which is right over there. It looks like someone ventured into the mini pond. Is that Urkel? Hi, Urkel. What's up, buddy? What's up, you little weirdo? Essentially, when I would turn off the pump, all the water would come back through the pipes and back into here. So I had to install a valve right there so that way I could stop it for days like today where I turn off the pump, but I want to keep water in the bog. Why do I want to keep water in the bog? To keep all of my bacteria alive. If there's no water, my beneficial bacteria that basically clean and polish the water will die. So anyway, I put in the mini pond and then the water starts going down again. And at this point, I'm like losing my mind. I'm like, why is it leaking now again all of a sudden? So I figured it was some issue in the mini pond. So what I would do is I would turn off the flow to the mini pond and see if it was still going down, if it was still leaking. And if it didn't, it means that my leak was somewhere in here. The water kept going down. Theoretically, it should not have kept going down because it wasn't leaking before I did the mini pond. So if I just shut off everything to the mini pond, it should just flow like it did when I first finish the skimmer like normal like before so i must have done something between installing the new skimmer and putting in the mini pond that is causing this leak. So last night, what I decided to do was come out here, turn off the pump and do what's called a rest test. Essentially, you shut down all of the plumbing and you wait and you see if your water level is still going down, which is what we're about to do. So last night I measured from here, the water level was two and a quarter inches. Excuse me guys, two and a quarter. And there it is. It is two and a quarter inches. That means that my problem is somewhere in the plumbing. I think it actually went up because I think that the water drained back from the bog a little bit. Yep. We are still at two and a quarter inches. That means that my leak is somewhere in the plumbing. <sighs> so let's plug back in the pump, get everything up and running again. Water's gonna flow back into this little filter unit. Water's gonna flow back into the bog and everything's gonna be running like normal. Here it goes. Let's check on how everyone's doing in here. All right, guys, so remember yesterday? Look at how much clearer and nicer the water. Oh, it turns more orange on camera. But in person, it's way nicer than it was. Trust me, this water, no, you can see it. It's nice and clear. Hello. Hello, little turt. So let's check on those baby spotted turtles and see how they're doing. So look at this. One of the baby spotted turtles is right there. Right there, just hanging out. And this is what they do. They hide and they stay near the surface of the water so they can get a quick breath. And the other one is poking his little head out right back there. It's kind of difficult to see, but do you see that little head right there? That's his little head, his little eye. So those guys are settling in nicely just as I figured they would. Our Beretti needs to be 
topped off on water. So we need to get a little bit of water up in here. Before we do anything though, it's kind of a beautiful day outside and uh, going to the beach. Okay, another task. Another task that I need to get done today is get my hairs cut because these sides are way out of whack and I need to shave and just do a bunch of other stuff. Oh, I forgot to show you guys. I found a nice little driftwood stick at the beach. So I figured this would look pretty good in little pumpkins enclosure here. So we're just gonna kinda throw it down like that. That actually looks pretty dope. Actually, yeah, I like that a lot. Sweet. Hi, pumpkin. Enjoy your new shtick. I have returned and I no longer look like total trash. Just a little bit like trash. No, you're place trash my beretti here will let me know when he's hungry because he'll come over to like this end of the enclosure and he'll start like trying to climb up the walls and whatnot we're gonna skip feeding these boogers today because they ate plenty yesterday and if i skip feeding a day they'll be extra hungry tomorrow also because i just changed their enclosure yesterday y'all remember and i don't know i don't feel like it today but we cannot forget about little pumpkin here here you go buddy he will go to town on those so I'm gonna let him go ahead and hunt the rest of these and I'm gonna go begin on the salad for the box turtles. Yep, and so guys, this is really interesting. This is like one of the world's rarest box turtles. When I open up that container of food, it smells like shrimp. So the Beretti starts to go crazy if he's hungry. Check him out. He's getting way more confident with me around. So like he will literally come and beg for food like this. He's turned into a terrapin. I've kept him around terrapins for so long that now he's acting like one. And it's crazy because these guys are known to be super skittish and like not very reactive to people and here he is like coming at me and begging for food. Let's see what type of turtle based foods we have. We have a piece of tomato here. We have strawberries here. Uh, is that a pepper? We don't do peppers. Uh, meats and cheeses. That's not going to work. Ooh, some green leaf lettuce, red leaf lettuce. That'll do. Some blooms. That should make a nice little salad. So we take this, make a little quadrant. Our arts and crafts are done. These are all little individual plates that I can now feed the turtles with. Okay, so now we just, ah, there we go. All chopped up magic. Scoop this. All right, buddy, come here. It'll take him just a minute and he'll start running over. Sometimes if I'm too lazy to wait for him to come over, I'll literally just pick him up, put him like that, and he should come and start eating. And while we wait for a little butternut to start eating, I have a letter from Mr. Project Turtle Obang, who if you guys don't know, he's on Instagram, Facebook, he's on YouTube. Make sure to go hit him up and subscribe because he's been like one of the nicest, greatest people that I have ever met. What do we got? Ooh, this is so cute. This is awesome. I actually really like this. This is a sticker, but I like this. At Project Turtle 2020, I like that a lot. And this says, I love you as much as I do my turtles. <laughs> love Project Turtle. Oh my God, I love this guy. This is what I'm saying, he rocks. Wait, these stickers are awesome. That's an ornate Diamondback Terrapin. These are so cool. I'm probably gonna stick uh, one of them on my new laptop case, one of them probably on the tub over there. These are awesome. So a very big shout out to Mr. Obang of Project Turtle. Go check him out. And sure enough, at just after opening that letter, little butternut here is going to town on this food. I told you guys that he was hungry. So he takes a really long time to eat and I'm confident that he's probably gonna eat this entire thing. So I'm gonna wait until he's done eating to add water to this enclosure because otherwise that paper plate gets all soggy and then it's all gross. And I'm gonna come back a little bit later and see if there's anything left for Jelly and Otis up above. Otherwise, I'm gonna make them their own little salad. A good like 20 minutes later and as expected a butternut, he really has not left much here. So I guess I'll just grab whatever left kind of like this. I guess we'll give it to these guys. Otis, do not make a stinking mess. And don't send it into the water, please. Why are you like this? Why are you like this? Why are you like this? Stop, 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 stop trying to eat my hand. Right in front of you, right in front of you, right in front of you. Now stop, now eat. Oh my God. And now all I have to do is fill this with some water and probably take out that little last little bit of food. This is a bowl of water. This is a uh, distilled water. This is like literally what I would drink. And so that way it's not chlorinated and it's not nasty. And I just, I don't use tap water for this turtle. He's just a little bit too rare to take any sort of risk. There he is after he had his nice little munch crunch. He's back there. He's going to just hang out. Otis right there is going to finish up eating that salad. And I'm going to go finish up editing this video. So thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see y'all tomorrow.